Hello, hello, welcome back to this week's episode of the Pounce Guide. We'll be covering Ormond today. As always, you can check all the timestamps in the description box below. There's also a playlist with the other two episodes if you are interested in that. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. On this window above the basement, you can get through it on both sides. The only thing you need to make sure is that you're standing far back enough, otherwise you will not go through the window. And yes, you can hit survivors going through this. On this bar here, you can jump over it. You can hit people on the vault too. You just need to make sure to avoid these things on the bar. Otherwise, you will hit them and not go over it. Unfortunately, you cannot get a shot on this pallet here because of the gen lights blocking you. On this banister is a skip that you can do to where there's a little hole. You can also hit survivors over the banister up until the hole. There is a very specific angle where you can hit people next to the pallet, but it's very risky. I'd rather just go around to the left, but you can get a safe shot over the banister before the gap. Here's the clip how to land right next to the pallet, but do beware, it's very hard to pull off. There is a skip here on the window. It's quite tricky to get through. You need to make sure you're quite far on the edge and you're facing the middle. Once you can get it down, it's quite easy. You can safely hit survivors vault in this window too. However, I wouldn't recommend trying to hit a survivor over this as it's quite difficult. You can go back through the window as well as long as you're standing all the way back and facing your camera fully up. With the yellow vehicle on this map, you can actually jump on top of it. But you will die if you stay on for too long. You're also able to jump fully over it and get a snipe back there, but it's quite hard to pull off. You can also hit people over the wheels on each side. You can get some really cool snipes from this window here. The only thing you need to be aware of is the left and the right side have a pole blocking you. So to get around them is a little bit tricky, but within the poles you can hit people pretty far away. This window on the side room here, you can jump through it pretty easily. With the house in the back side of the building, you can actually jump to it. You need to aim it up, but you can jump over to it in the open side. You can also jump back to the main building from this house, which is really helpful. You cannot get to this building from the window, however, as it's too high. Here's the max range from the back side of the building. You can actually hit people behind these rocks here, but you've got to be aware of how Victor pounces. It goes on like an arch shape, so if you go far back and point your camera down, then you can get some tight jumps. The back side of this main building is very adaptable. Twins can pounce all over the place on it. I'll end on some clips here where I get some gen shots from both my stream and from this footage I got while recording this. But the more you practice, the more you'll find these little spots. And that about covers everything. I really hope this video helped if you are trying to get into the twins. Please give me any feedback in the comments down below. I'm still learning what direction I want to go with this series. But I really do hope it does help. And as always, happy pouncing!